Be careful, little mind. Are you dreaming of an ice cream sundae? Or maybe yearning for designer jeans? Perhaps you're tempted by forbidden fruit. Ah, dear friend, you have control over what you think. And you must engage the power. What exactly does this mean, having control over what you think? Well, discipline those thoughts of yours. We got to have discipline, my brothers and sisters, beloveds, discipline. See, there's a nursery song that kids used to sing. Now, maybe you haven't heard of it before, but it goes a little something like this. Be careful, little mind, what you think. Now, that says it all, right? You've got to be careful and guard your mind against thoughts that might lead you down sin's path. Because you know there's a lot of thoughts that come up, these intrusive thoughts in our mind. But we got to reject those thoughts. We got to rebuke them. And we got to be careful that we don't allow those negative, sinful thoughts to manifest itself into a full-fledged action to sin. Don't let those thoughts tempt you to sin. Matter of fact, purge those sinful thoughts. Reject them. Rebuke them. Sow a thought. Reap an action is sage advice. Because once you sow that thought and you don't rebuke it, then it will become an action. So our actions, our habits, our character and future are definitely affected by our thoughts. You know, Colossians chapter 3, 1 and 2 says to seek those things which are above and to set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Because see, if you seek things on the earth and you set your mind on things below, not above, it can lead you to temptation and temptation to sin. So aim your thoughts higher and higher. Don't aim them for a C when you can get an A. Don't just strive for a C because that C can lead to a D and an F, failure. But strive for an A. Strive high, my beloveds, my sisters and brothers. Strive high. And be careful, little mind, what you think. Father, my thoughts go astray often. And sometimes I'm not even sure where these questionable thoughts come from. Help me meditate on your law and the tremendous joy following your precepts give me. Amen. Our one minute inspirations. God bless you all. Bye.